I've said it before, I will say it again, and I will keep on saying it. This is not just about Maryland. This is about the nation's economy. As the nation continues to struggle with the tragedy of the collapse of Baltimore's Francis Scott Key Bridge, supply chain and freight shipment is expected to take a hit. Baltimore is a busy entry port for vehicles made in several countries, along with coal and farm equipment, but it's all been put on hold. Fox 43's Sarah Williams is live in Baltimore with details on the bridge collapse impacting the economy and shares what comes next. Sarah. Yeah, good morning, Gabby and Alex. So from shipment delays to traffic to even job losses, the impact of the collapse of the key bridge has freight as well as shipment goods sitting in the yard or even not moving at all. So listen to this more than 8000 workers who have jobs in or on the port in Maryland have been impacted due to the crash of the key bridge. And according to the Associated Press, supply chain experts say other ports up and down the East Coast are likely to absorb much Baltimore's traffic, avoiding that crisis. But that doesn't come without uh, longer shipping times and upheavals. The Maryland Port Administration says the facility facility is an overnight drive from two thirds of the U.S. population, and it's closer to the Midwest than any other East Coast port. Maryland Governor uh, Westmore says the port of Baltimore handles more cars and farm equipment than any other port in America. And right now they're working to get the economy back on track before it's too late. We are briefed by the commander of the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers for the Baltimore District. And she laid out her team's efforts with the U.S. Navy to mobilize major resources from around the country at record speed to clear the channel. Under the leadership of Colonel Pinchason, the Army Corps is moving the largest crane in the eastern seaboard to Baltimore to help us. Now, one crane arrived last night and another one will arrive later this week. And now, as far as the rebuild of the bridge, that won't happen until the debris from the collapse is cleared, which means cargo, uh, boats, shipment, anything moving through the port cannot go through until that debris is collapsed. Until then, all ship, uh, all ship uh, shipment has been suspended indefinitely. More into information and details can be found on our, on our website at fox43.com. But for now, in Baltimore, Maryland, Sayara Williams, Fox 43 News. All right, thank you very much, Sayara. We'll check back with you in the next hour.